My dear friends, today I am going to discuss with you how we can make a function of a wave. How we can uh, mathematically write a wave function. Okay? This is the problem for today. Okay? So equation of the plane progressive simple harmonic wave and what about its uh, wave function. So let, uh, you know, this is positive x direction and wave is traveling, wave is uh, in progress along positive x direction and displacement along the y axis and displacement is a function of time also. Okay, this is the origin O and velocity of the wave is small v. The reason of formation of this wave is because of the periodic oscillation of the particles of the medium. As you know very well, how the wave is a uh, how the wave is formed? Wave mean it is a disturbance which travels in onward direction. And what the reason of the disturbance? It is because the particles of the medium, they are responsible because uh, they carry the disturbance. Okay, disturbance, progress, because of medium particle. Medium particle can oscillate in perpendicular direction to the direction of propagation. Then it is a transverse wave. If the medium particle, they are oscillating along the direction of propagation, then that becomes the longitudinal wave. Okay, maybe longitudinal, maybe transverse. One thing it is clear that the medium particle, the oscillates. So I have considered one particle which is oscillating here at the origin, okay. So this particle is oscillating at the origin. And actually it is not one particle which is oscillating. Every particle oscillates as the disturbance travels. Okay. Each and every particle receives the disturbance, receives disturbance, receives the disturbance and then they oscillate. So we started the time when the particle which was at the origin, we started the time when the particle at O was at the origin. Okay, this is very important. We are starting the time just when the particle was at the origin. Then after that time it cross, crossed the mean position. Okay. Now at time t equal to zero particle was at the origin. This is our particle number one. Right? So now as the time progress, so we are writing y0t, zero, 0 mean um, that, that the position at the origin means space, space O, that, that the equation is, you know, so this is, you know, Here it is 0 t. 0 mean you know what? That the space mean uh, I'm talking about the, at the origin and at any time t. So what about the displacement? Is r sin omega t. Okay, because it's oscillation represented by sine or cos. Omega is angular velocity, 
of the particle which is oscillating, R is the maximum amplitude. So, at the origin, X is equals to 0. So, this is 0 T. So, X is equals to 0 at the origin. And at any time T, the equation is R sin omega T. So, if you put T equals to 0, Y becomes 0. There is no displacement at 0 time. Okay. Now again the wave, so 0 t mean r sin omega t, so this is r maximum amplitude. Now we consider second particle at the point P. It is also having displacement. So wave mean disturbance, it is in progress and uh, going from one particle to the other particle okay and it is traveling in the positive x direction along x axis so first you know disturbance will reach to the particle at the origin main particle number one then it reaches to particle number two and the particle two then will starts oscillating but particle 2 oscillates after some times to particle 1. That means particle 2 lags behind to the particle number 1. And how much it lags behind? By the phase angle phi. Now problem is what is phi? So let, uh, we are writing y x t. I mean particle 2 is at a distance x minus phi. You know it is lagging behind by an angle phi. Particle 2 lags behind by an angle phi, by the phase phi. Now the problem is what is phi? You know this is a wave. Okay. Now this is angle. Now phase mean actually the angle. So how much this angle is phi? How much this angle is again pi? And what is the wavelength from here to here? It is one wave in lambda. So lambda is equal length to the phase 2 pi. Now be careful. Never write lambda equals to 2 pi because lambda is path and 2 pi is the phase. Path and phase they are different but they may be equal length. So we are writing lambda equivalent to 2 pi and 1 equal lambda is path 2 pi is the phase 1 equivalent to 2 pi by lambda and second particle was at x distance so x distance is equivalent to phase 2 pi by lambda into x so particle 2 was a, at x distance mean particle 2 having a phase 2 pi by lambda into x but you know it lags behind that means the negative sign in the equation so we put the phi here okay substituting phi here so equation for particle number 2 y x t becomes y x t becomes general equation for the particle number 2 that is R sin omega t minus phi phi mean 2 pi by lambda into x. Very simple. What is omega? 2 pi over t is substituting it here. Okay. Very simple. Now y x t becomes R sin 2 pi by 2 pi by lambda not t. 2 pi by T is VT is the time period. Small t is any instant time t. Don't confuse. Small t and capital T, they are different. 2 pi by lambda is common. So the equation becomes like this. What is lambda over t? Lambda is one wavelength and capital T is the time period. So distance over time period t, it becomes the velocity of the disturbance. Mean velocity of the wave. Because disturbance is called the wave. 
So Vt minus x. So this is the equation if the disturbance is traveling from left to right direction. Okay, that's why negative sign in the equation. Now, wave or disturbance was traveling from left to the right direction. Now, there is a second case. If the disturbance travels right to left, then what about the equation? Think over it. So, if it is, uh, you know, if it travels right to left, you know, then the very simple. Here comes the positive sign, no problem. So in general, maybe it is the may left or right, we write it here, plus minus. So general equation. Now if there is any initial phase, I mean we, we were thinking at time t equal to zero particle was at the origin. But if the particle is not at the origin, there will be some initial phase phi naught. Phi not mean at t equals to zero particle was not not at the origin particle number one. So this y is actually a wave function of the wave and it is of the form a t plus minus b x because you know v t plus minus x instead of v say a and instead of b b is one here b x mean b is one. So wave function y it is of this form. A t plus minus B x. So this is a wave function of a wave. Progressive wave, simple harmonic wave, plane wave. And you know this wave function satisfies the wave equation. If uh, it is not clear to you how this equation, how this equation is, please go to my video for the wave equation d to y over dx square is equals to 1 over v square d to y over dt square. But this is a wave equation. And y is here the wave function. The wave function which we, uh, you know, which we develop here, which we f uh, formulated above, it satisfies this equation, wave equation y x t was r sine 2 pi by lambda v t minus x mean left to right plus phi naught plus phi naught mean the initial phase total is you know what is this total total angle is called the total phase so total phase is a function of x and t so this is a total phase okay Now differentiating with respect to time, d phi by dt becomes and differentiation of phi naught is zero because phi naught was constant. So d phi by dt becomes now x differentiation is zero because differentiation is with respect to time. And here 2 pi by lambda and v comes outside because they are constant. Now it becomes d phi by dt is 2 pi by lambda v into 1. Okay. Now v is equal to lambda over t wave, wave velocity. So d phi by dt becomes 2 pi over t. Very important. Now the relation between particle velocity and the wave velocity. Now we're coming to this. So displacement mean wave function is of this form, left to right, positive x direction, initial phase assumed as zero. Now velocity u x t of the particle which is oscillating, you know, this is velocity with which the particle which is oscillating due to which the disturbance is formed. It is dy by dt. So substituting the value of the wave function. So particle velocity becomes 
So this is V velocity. V is wave velocity. U is particle velocity. They are both are different. Wave velocity is the velocity of the disturbance. So the differentiation of first of all sine differentiation becomes cos. Then differentiation of the phase mean angle. Okay. Now it becomes you know differentiation of x is 0. So this is the equation of the particle velocity. Okay. You know y is equals this is the equation of the displacement wave function. Now we are differentiating with respect to x. So first of all sine becomes cos then differentiation with respect to x of the phase. This is the phase. So no differentiation of time only of x. So the equation becomes like this. dx by dx upon dx becomes 1. So this is dy by dx means slope of the wave. dy by dx is slope of the wave. Dividing 1 by 2. So this this was the equation 1. Dividing by 2. Okay. So we got the equation uxt like uh, negative sign of this. So particle velocity is actually negative of the wave velocity and slope of the wave. This is very important, okay? Thank you.